hello students today we are going to discuss the tips to get maximum marks in class plus 2 we will discuss the tips to write perfect answers in board exam class plus 2 there are some tips to attempt the questions in perfectly in exam first point is make the right use of additional 15 minutes you know in exam you have 15 min minutes as reading time and during that period you are not supposed to write anything that time is only for reading so you must utilize that time that is very important sometimes the students waste that time and uh, just they start to see here and there they not that is reading time so you should read the paper carefully you must notice each and everything in the question paper during that period you must set the priority of the questions ki how many questions are given in the question paper and which questions you will solve in the beginning first of all you should start the paper sometimes the students are confused from where they should start the paper the paper in some some papers as in english paper you have three sections section a reading section section b writing section section c literature so they confuse from where they should start the paper from which section so it should be clear to you ki from where you have to start in which section you are confident you should start from that section and uh, if you are not confident in any section you should not start from there as you know first impression is the last impression because you are unknown to the examiner your answer sheet will give an impression to the examiner about you so in the beginning you should write you should solve those questions in which you are most confident third thing when you give the answers your answer must be in brief and to the point suppose any question is asked from the literature so students write the whole story in the answer of that question but that point which is needed for the answer of that question that is not given in that answer so you will not get good marks your answer should be in brief and to the point next in some questions you have internal choice so that time you should choose the questions wisely because we confuse either i should attempt the first or the second we start to write the first question then after writing some lines or some sentences we confuse and we cross and then we start to attempt the optional question in this way we waste our time effort and we have bad impression on the examiner next attempt all the questions sometimes students they write they have uh, they know some question in a better way and they spend too much time on that question but you must remember one thing in your mind 
if any question has 5 marks either you write the answer of that question in a in the best way but you cannot get more than 5 marks so you should try to attempt all the question you have not to leave any question sometimes the students waste time to decorate the answer sheet they write one answer and then they give lines and decorate they feel that it will attract the examiner no in this way you are only wasting your time so don't waste your time to decorate the answer sheet next space out each word it should be neat and clean your answer sheet should be neat and clean your writing should be legible because if your writing will be legible and paper will be neat and clean you will have good impression on the examiner if your if your writing will not be legible it must have bad impression on the examiner and according to that you will get the marks don't panic sometimes in the beginning we don't manage our time and in the end we write the answers long answers suppose there is one question only for two marks we write a long answer of that question but you can't get more than two marks in that answer and in the end you will find that you have less time there is lack of time to attempt the paper and that time we get panic so we must plan in the beginning ki how much time i have to spend on one section and according to that you should spend your time if you will spend time according to this then there will be no panic in the end and you must plan you must manage your time in this way that in the end you have 10 minutes extra you you should complete your paper before the uh, 10 minutes before the completion of time so that you can check your answer sheet in the end you should check all the questions all the question number are given and you should uh, underline the key points so if you will have all these tips in your mind you will be able to attempt your paper effectively and uh, then there will be probability to get good marks thank you have a nice day